Well, hey everybody, Wes McDonald here, and I'm going to share with you today the best way to share your custom GPTs depending on your use case. And there's a few that we're going to talk about. One is a GPT that you want to share with the world. Uh, the second type that I have <clears throat> is private only to me. And that's because it's a tool that I use very specifically uh, for my workflows and things that I charge for. And I don't really feel like sharing that with the world. The third type is one that I can actually share with my team members, and this is only available if you're using GPT for Teams or for Enterprise. If you have the Plus version, you don't have the capability to do this. But I'm going to show you how to do all three of those things right now. When I click the Edit button over here on the right-hand side, you're going to see that it comes up with the ability to continue to work on it. And up in the top right-hand corner is where I can save it. And you can see that here, um, that anyone that I share the link with is going to be able to use this. So for my customers, uh, when they want to use this calculator, they get the link and they are available to use it. The second scenario I talked about was if it's private and I only want it for me, then I can actually select the only for me option. The function that I really like about the team version is if you actually create a GPT for your company that you want a whole bunch of people to use, but you don't want the risk of anyone outside being able to use it, you can click on the anyone at your company link here and it will only share that GPT with those people. It's absolutely um, very cool that you have the ability to share your GPTs with the world, with your team, with your customers or only with yourself. So until next time, keep GPTing and keep learning.